The knot comes in three as a, an assault to the Holy Trinity. This quote was from a movie that we were all freaked out after we saw, especially that it was based on a true story. This movie was The Conjuring. Today I'm going to speak to you about the history of the whole movie and the experiences the family had to go through and how they tried to fix the problem they had. Um, in 1970, uh, the Perlman family finally thought that they found their dream house in Rhode Island, but it wasn't really a dream, it was their biggest nightmare. They, they weren't alone in the house. Sorry. There was a ghost that was leeching on, latching itself onto them. According to Ghosts and Ghouls, there was a century before Bathsheba, which was a lady that was related to Mary a Town, which was accused of being a witch during the Salem witch trials. But Bathsheba was um, Bathsheba was accused of killing her one week son, old son. Sorry. One week old son and sacrificing it to devil. She was the devil's mistress. According to the House of Darkness, House of Light, which was a book um, wrote, written by Andrea Perone, which, one, which was one of the daughters, she killed her son using, uh, using a needle, and she shoved it in his skull. Um, according, also according to Rhea Christina, between the period of the Shiva and the Perones, there were also a lot, a lot of incidents that happened in the house. A lot of hangings happened, and a lot of deaths, really bad deaths. And do you guys really think these are two reasons why they got hunted? Yes, they are. They got hunted because um, Bathsheba latched them, herself onto them. Also, even if they moved out, she would actually go with them. So they needed to get an exorcism. Also, um, Many spirits were alive in the in the house because of the many hangings that happened, and also the kids were not baptized, so they they made it they were an easy target for the ghost. But of course they did not know all of this, so but they had to learn it the the really hard way. According to the documentary by Andrea Perlman, which was one of the daughters on YouTube, she said five minutes as they got into the house. They, they felt that there was something wrong. Andrea saw a man sitting down, just staring, and he was so serious. And she said hi, she was little, so she said hi, but he never answered. And that man wasn't really there, it was a ghost. Also, they would, they would hear voices at, at night. They, they all said the same thing at the same time, which was, there are seven soldiers dead, buried in the wall. Also, the mother, which was the biggest target, she was in the dining, um, she, she saw people dining in the dining room, and she made eye contact with the ghost itself. According to I, her, good spirits were actually there too. People would sweep, of course I would want to, I want that in my house. But they also smelled like flowers, and they also <coughs> smiled at the kids. But it, it wasn't really as good at the end. So the mother was suspicious, so she called Ed and Lorraine, which was which were inv investigators at that time. They did many demonic um, investigations. They did over ten thousand cases. So um, uh, they would actually keep the objects that, that were using that were used in the in any of the exorcisms in their house. That's how like strong they were. They went to the house, and one of those actually one of those objects was Annabelle. They went to the house and they tried to contact, uh, make a contact with the spirit. They tried to put crosses everywhere and they also used high tech equipment to to capture them the capture the movements. But there was actually a consequence uh, of them tr getting involved, which was uh, Annabelle tried to chase their own daughter. But she wasn't only the, the only daughter that was being chased. April Perron, which was the youngest, she was being chased. Um, by a boy, she actually made a. <coughs> she actually became his friend. The boy that was killed, she became his his friend, and um, she threw a toy that she found, 
and he tried to take her and hide her in places. Um, <coughs> Lorraine and, um, and Eth tried to fix it by commanding the spirits to leave by, by the name of Jesus Christ. They couldn't really do an exorcism because the kids were not baptized, so they would, they would take too long to uh, perform an exorcism. So, but they actually performed it later on. In conclusion, don't live at a house. Seriously, everything happens in any house. <laughs> and um, we all go through bad experiences. Some, some gets as bad as demonic, uh, demonic actions, but the Prongs family were actually really brave. And also the Lorraine and Ed were really brave as well to actually go through the same thing even if they had consequences, and that's all.